soaps and today I'm going to be making a lilac soap. Uh, what I'm going to use for mold is Brambleberry's 18 bar mold but I'm not going to put in the dividers. Instead I will uh, be cutting it into three logs with my new log splitter and then slicing it into smaller bars which will then go into a gift set with a couple of lilac bath bombs. So I think that would be nice for springtime. Uh, anyway, that's what we've got planned. I'm going to be a mostly white bar with a little bit of lavish lavender from Nurture Soap along with Da, 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 da. Lime Green Mojito Mica from Crafter's Choice. Um, I'll be doing hopefully a little swirl on the top uh, using some gold mica uh, with the uh, some a little bit of purple and green that's left. I'm just looking for my spatula here. We'll use this one. So I'm using my big pot here again, the one I have to crawl into. I swear one of these days I will get a pot that's kind of smaller, not so hard to uh, handle. So anyway, I'm going to get this blended up. Uh, let me see. First though, I'm just going to take a little bit of sweet almond oil just so I can have a little bit of this beautiful gold mica to swirl onto the top. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more in. Just a little bit. Oop. Take this out and find my ginger, my ginger right here. Okay, so that's pretty blended, and I'll just leave my little pipette here in that for the top. I'm also going to put on the top some of the jasmine jojoba beads. I was going to do little purple bows, but since I'm doing such smaller bars, I, I don't think I will, because I don't really know where I'm cutting my bars yet. So, on we go with the show. Um, If I get my head on straight... Now I can know what I'm doing next. Uh, paper towels. Oh, I just finished making some Bonza and Citrus Ginger Body Whip, as I have some shows coming up in May. One before Mother's Day and one at the end of the month, or towards the end of the month. So I want to get stocked up on that. I'm going to make some more unscented. I think I'm going to make some more lilac and maybe some lavender. So, um, we've got about, I don't know, maybe a week left on Etsy before I take that off of my Etsy shop because I don't want to ship them in warmer months. I'd rather just take them to the local shows. I'll have them available for shipping again in the fall. I will leave on my fall pre-listing uh, so you can order that if you want. Um, several jars and make sure that you'll get them the beginning of fall so that will still stay on there so just a little tidbits there so I got my gloves I got my goggles we'll pour our lye water in here slowly and we'll get started uh, I thought spring was coming but then we've had sleet and snow and Anyway, I'm on the sunny side of the street, so our snow melted uh, first today, so that was good. I'm just really, I'm so tired of winter, even though it's spring. We don't get good spring weather until probably May here where I live. I love this lilac fragrance. It's from Brambleberry. Smells really nice. I have had people comment because I use it in my um, body whip as well on how it smells just like lilacs. Oh, 
Oh, you know, I was going to, well, never mind. I was going to pour some of my soaping oils into my colorants, and I forgot to do that because I was yakking my head off. Anyway, I'm going to pour some of this off into my pitchers to do my purple and green. Just set that there for a second. So hopefully I can do this somewhat neatly. So there's for green and purple. Like I said, I want it to be mostly a light or white bar. Always good to have paper towels sitting next to you. So I'm just going to pour my colorant in and we'll blend it with the uh, hand blender. And a little bit, tiny bit, tiny bit. And we'll pour the rest of the white in here because I'm going to pour that first. Put my titanium dioxide in there. Set those off. Okay, so we'll blend up the white and then we'll get that poured. And then I can get this honking pot out of my way. So this lilac fragrance is a little dark. A little darker of a fragrance, but that's okay. Blend this up really good. So let me sit this into the green and then we'll do the purple last, but I'll bring over my mold and pour this right in. All right, and we'll crawl in scrape this baby out I'm trying to move quickly because I am using a floral uh, I want to make sure I can get something somewhat of a blend of the colors you little booger. There we go. I keep forgetting that it's a pop-off and not a twist-off like my old hand mixer. Oh, please. I don't know. It's thickening up. Anyway, we'll drop it from high. And actually, I'm going to use my little swirly tool here as well. To uh, just like so. Just to try and get it dispersed a little bit into my soap and then maybe I don't know maybe I'll just lay the purple on the top I'm kind of winging it here like I said because it's a floral and it does tend to accelerate quicker I don't know, we'll see. 
We will see. Okay. Um, use this. Do, do, do. I'm hoping you guys can still see what's going on here. Let me uh, come around just to make sure. All right. That's a little better. All right, so let me. Almost looks like Mardi Gras soap. Oh my goodness. It's so thick though. That's all right. It's gonna smell divine, darlings. And you can't tell me this doesn't look like something Clyde would make, right? I just wanna make sure I'm gonna get purple on every bar. I'm gonna bang it down and then we'll drizzle with the gold. So put my goggles back down and I'm going to bang this down on the floor. Oh. There's that. I think. Good there. All right. Now, got my little gold and I'm just going to give it a drizzle. All the way up and down and then we'll do a little swirl on the top and here I think that's good and I've got my little swirler so we'll go like this and just Get a little bit of swirling going on. That's really pretty. I am. Um, can't wait to get out and start my garden. That's another reason we're anxious for spring. Let me get my swirl going. Sometimes my brain doesn't work when I'm talking. <laughs> I know it does, but it misfires. Okay. Anyway, I can't wait to get my vegetable garden going, which I might do some brief little stories on our garden once we get it up and going. So keep your eye out for that if you have the mobile app. Um, unfortunately, Stories tab doesn't show up if you're on desktop, but it does on the mobile app. So, okay, so there's my lilac soap. What do you think? Do we hit it with glitter? I'm thinking we should hit it with glitter. Okay, so let me find my glitter. Um, here's my glitter. Super sparkle. And there's my little shaker. These come in really handy. So, I mean, we won't go crazy. Just a kiss. So a little, little bit will be on each bar. Ooh, look at that shimmer. Okay, there. That's good, I think. So we will uh, put this to bed. I'm gonna put my lid on it, but we'll bring you over here for a quick, hopefully flyby. And there is our lovely lilac. And I can't wait to cut it into these beautiful bars. So we will be back in just a minute and get this cut up. All right, we're back and I have already used my 
uh, bog splitter. I'll show you what I used. I did. I didn't record it, but um, I bought this log splitter from Workshop Heritage over on Etsy, um, and it worked great. So it just comes with these little templates here, and you place them where you want your logs split at and tighten your wire, and, and away you go. And it worked wonderfully. So again, that was Workshop Heritage over on Etsy that I bought that from. Uh, so I split my my big slab of soap into three logs and you can see my log splitter worked really well I sliced the ends off so now we're gonna just cut these into my uh, soap little soap bars and they really turned out well So that's the the end. I did slice the end, um, but anyway. Actually, tighten that back up. There we go. Uh, um, it's too bad. Oh, that's pretty. I like how the little swish goes there. That's really nice. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, working with florals and having them thicken up on you can kind of be a pain. You know, I did want more of a pretty swirl, but this still turned out uh, really nice. It's a very delicate looking bar. Um, just to mention, I do have some grab bags still over on Etsy for the price of $15 right now. Uh, kind of running a sale price on those. Uh, so if you're interested, go and pick some up. You get five different soaps of mine uh, for that $15. And uh, also, my new... Uh, facial serum which I have named Lux L-U-X uh, that is also for, for sale over on Etsy now and I'll tell you a little bit about that um, I had bought some uh, it's like after sun spray I guess is how they market it I think over in Maui a couple years ago when we first went. I guess it would be three years ago now. And uh haven't seen it. I don't think I saw it the last time we went. Um, but I still had some left. Well, I, after this trip, I thought, you know what? I'm going to try and make my own. So I looked at their ingredients. And not knowing really what their recipe was as far as how much of each to put in. But I developed my own. And I added rosehip oil. And I've been using it for now, well, it's almost two weeks that we've been back. And it is the most wonderful uh, facial serum. It is non-greasy. Feels fantastic. There's a little sample for me. I'll put that up on the shelf. Feels fantastic. Non-greasy. Soaks into your skin so deep. And uh, it contains jojoba oil, um, coconut oil, uh, fractionated, of course, so it stays liquid. My rosehip oil and also kukui nut oil. So the kukui tree is uh, also known as the candle nut tree, and it's, it's the native tree of Hawaii. And uh, let me grab one of these. And a fisherman had had developed this product that I used before that I'm, I based mine on um, for after being sunburn. And I can tell you the product I used when I'd come out of the sun, take a shower, you could tell you're red, right? If you sprayed that on, it takes the pain 
right out of your skin. I mean, you don't feel the burn and it, it goes in so deep. Um, so anyway, hold on just a second. So I hit stop instead of pause. Anyway, um, it goes into your skin very deeply, super hydrating. Um, it leaves your skin so soft. I sell this, this is my version. Same ingredients, I, had, I added rosehip, I love rosehip oil. It is non-scented, unscented. You can put it everywhere. On your face, I put it I'm all over my face, my neck, my eyelids, under my eyes. Um, I, I'll put it on my arms, my legs. Uh, it's wonderful, it comes in this glass dropper bottle. Uh, also perfect for gift giving. I think this would make a wonderful uh, beard oil as well. Uh, so you gentlemen out there, you might want to give it a try. I know it's packaged in a little uh, feminine packaging here, but uh, but I think it would be wonderful for a gentleman's skin as well as their beards. Um, anyway, so that's that's for sale over on Etsy. Give it a try. It's wonderful stuff. And like I said, I use it every day. So now I want to stamp these bars, getting back to the soap. And I think, let me try and see which ones I want to use here. I still have stamps from Victor over at Soap Stamps for You. And uh, I think I'm going to use this one. These are awesome stamps if you haven't bought from him before. Uh, very ergonomic. If you see the back, it has these little finger grips. And then uh, it's a really beautiful stamp. This is kind of a lotus, lotus flower. I think I might use this one. Let me see what other ones I have. I don't know if I've used any of the other ones. Here's another one. Oh, this one. I don't... Yeah, I've used that one. I think I'm going to use this lotus. Um, the other one I have is a snowflake, and we're not exactly at Christmas <laughs> yet. So, Anyway, uh, these ones I just cut. Uh, these bars I cut like an hour ago or so, and they turned out great. There's a little air bubble in that one. You can see, I guess, from where I didn't bang it down hard enough. But anyway... Uh, we'll give it a little spritz of alcohol and give it a stamp with Victor's stamp. Very cute. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. We'll get the light to shine on it. Um, and we'll get, like I said, get these stamped up and they're going to be part of a gift set that will include some bath bombs. Oh, let me get the light to shine the light on me. There we go. Really pretty. Really cute. It'd show up more, I guess, if I had a, a color behind it. But these are white bars, so... But still, in person you can see them. <laughs> that doesn't help you right now, does it? Let me see if I can do this one. That one shows maybe a little, a little better. Oh, get the light glint. There we go. Anyway, these are really nice little soap stamps. Um, I like them a lot. They're easy to use. And uh, he has a Facebook page, soap stamps for you, as well as his Etsy shop and Instagram as well. But I'll link you to his Etsy shop below as well as mine. So you can check out all the stamps he has. Always coming up with new designs. Let me bring you down for a closer look. Oops. Of my palm. Anyway, there you can see a better view of the stamps. Isn't that pretty? Just the most delicate little bar. And... The perfect soap stamp to go with it and I'll show you the tops too the tops are really pretty so anyway thanks again for watching you guys appreciate it and uh, 
keep your eyes peeled for another soap making video sometime soon in the near future. Um, check me out over on Instagram and Facebook at Dirty Booty Soaps. And I'll link you to my Etsy shop below as well. Uh, where you can purchase grab bags, uh, Mother's Day sets and more. As well as my new Lux Skin Serum. So check us out. Thanks again and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.